I'm here to introduce Stella Dallas, not the Barbara Stanwyck that everybody knows, is uh, Dave Kerr, curator at MoMA. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Yeah, as Julia suggested, it, nobody gets out alive from Stella Dallas. This thing is, <laughs> it's a machine. It's a ringer. I, <laughs> this is, uh, it, if you were here for Barbara Moss's presentation yesterday, as you know, women had a very strong presence in silent film. Uh, this film is based on a best-selling novel by a woman named Olive Higgins Prouty and was adapted as a screenplay by Frances Marion, who was probably the leading screenwriter in Hollywood in the 20s. Quite an amazing film. Uh, unfortunately, for years and years, this kind of cinema was just neglected by all critics and academics. It was women's film, uh, sentimental, melodrama, no interest. In only the last maybe 20 or 30 years, people are rediscovering these movies, just how much they have to say about you know, that moment in time, that culture. And uh, this is a particularly vivid example, I think, of how melodrama could communicate a lot about class structure in America, how you view your fate, you know, what, what, what the limitations of a woman's power are. Um, but ultimately, I think it comes down to that really hardcore mother-daughter relationship that it's so seldom dramatized these days, and yet in the 1920s was the center of a lot of cinema. So I think, you know, just relax, enjoy. This is a beautiful score we commissioned from a British composer. Uh, recorded it live at the premiere in Venice uh, two years ago already. My God, yeah. So, yeah, get out your handkerchiefs and enjoy. Sell it, Alice. Okay. <laughs> 